dang. We are on bottom. Right here. There's literally like no water. And that's the boat ramp. And there's no water. In the boat ramp. Isn't that crazy? I launched thinking it'll be deeper. It's not. I'm dragging my kayak. Oh yeah. This is gonna be an interesting day. Well, welcome back. Ruben with Texas All Water Fishing, and we are fishing in no water today. I uh, went to a spot, drove to it. There wasn't very much water in the boat ramp. Thought I'll come over here because it's a little, got a little deeper channel over here, a couple deeper channels. So I figured I'm gonna come fish the deeper bayou and a deeper pass. So, thanks for coming back. Hopefully, I'll be able to hook up for you guys. Wish me luck. I haven't seen any dead fish. I know people said, well, they're probably under the surface. You know, they're probably under the water, under the water line, under the surface, but there is no water right now. So I haven't seen any yet, but I just got here. So I'll keep my eye out and keep you guys posted. But thanks for coming back. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, share. Hopefully catch me hooking up. I have a mint in my mouth too. That's not, I'm not dipping. Mom. <laughs> <laughs> Like I always say, you know, even if the tide's really low, kind of, you kind of see, because if there was oysters here and you are structure underneath and you didn't know about it, well, obviously if you come out in a day like today, you definitely would see some of those oysters. You can even see where the channel is deeper. See, there's a hump there, then it's ch more deeper here. There's a hump on this side, there's a hump on that side, and it's deeper right here where there's a channel run through. And if you don't come out in some of these low tides, then you'll never know that, especially if you do not have a fish finder or if you never ran through that area with a fish finder before so it's just uh you know good info inf good information to know you know I me mean, we are all are fished or based most fishing is based on experience there we go like a flatty yep little guy little flounder Ugh. First fish of the day. You know, I just put some goat on because I kind of wanted to test the water and see if there was anything down the bottom. Just looking for a flounder, and I'm glad to, glad I had one bite. Although he's a little guy, but I don't mind. Little guy right there. Goat. Salty head, jig head. I get that guy off here and get him on his way. Come on, buddy. There we go. Oh, let go. Let go of my tail. I want to keep my tail. Come on, bud. Let go of my tail. Let go. Tickle, tickle, tickle. Tickle, 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 tickle. Come on, let go of my tail. Let go of my tail. Let go of my tail. Don't tear my tail. Just put it on. Ah, you ripped it. Little guy. Adios, bud. Thanks for playing.
All right, so that's pretty much gonna do it. You know, I only caught that one little flounder. But, you know, on the, on the high note, like I was talking about earlier, all this right here where the north winds will come and push, if we had a lot of dead fish, there would be a lot of dead fish on the bank. This would be the bank that I would be looking at, the south bank of Christmas Bay. You know, I didn't see really any dead fish. Saw four sheep heads. Sure, there's probably more that could be a lot more fish under the surface and a lot of that deeper water because fish is fish are going to run where it's deeper and warmer so we're in that deeper water they could have died off and we're just not seeing it because they haven't rose rise to the surface i mean i i don't know i don't know why but we're just not seeing it if they are down there now i did have a couple other people ask me well is it because of the visibility factor you know we're we're in dirtier water well yes that's true but like west bay the other day visibility was two to three feet here visibility is about a foot and a half and i couldn't see anything that was below a foot and a half now we started getting around two feet it gets a little cloudy a little murky but i still really couldn't see anything that resembled dead fish so with that being said, I am very optimistic. I hope, keeping my fingers crossed, that our fisheries gonna be okay. Despite the fact that I didn't hook up today, that's not uncommon. You know, we all have days where we're either throwing the wrong stuff, fishing the wrong place, or casting at the wrong spots. And with the water being sucked out, I mean, you could just see, like we're probably, the bank probably runs maybe about another five feet in front of my truck and you can see how far out the water level is. So that's always tricky when you are fishing and you have low water conditions. It's always tricky trying to find the fish. So everything being said, keep my fingers crossed, being optimistic, hope we don't have large number of fish kills. Everything that I see says we do not. I'm not saying that that's true, right? I'm just, just telling you what I see and keep my fingers crossed. Anyway, rambling on a little bit, but hey, if you like what you saw, don't forget to hit thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe. If you haven't subscribed already, yes, I wish I would have put some more fish on the deck for you guys, but I did want to give a little quick report, and I threw everything out there, all right? So I threw gope. That's what I got that flounder on. I threw voodoo shad. I threw bite and fight angler lures. I threw AM lures. I threw chicken boy lures. I threw undead shrimp under under a uh, poppy cork and even threw a chatterweight uh not chatterweight sorry even threw a rattle trap and i just couldn't find the fish they just weren't biting they are just weren't there so it wasn't from the lack of tossing and the lack of cat all right sorry about that my camera cut out when i was out there on the water but i just want to take a quick second and thank each and every one of you for watching i really appreciate that and i really really mean that don't forget to hit a thumbs up if you like this video subscribe comment share hopefully next time you catch me hook it up thanks